What's up guys? So there are some runs where the run is not completely solved, it's not brain dead easy. You have to take your time, and even all the way to Act 4, you're still looking for a solution, still trying to find a way to make sure you can beat the game. And this is one of those runs where, even in Act 4, I wasn't sure, and I really needed every resource I could get to finally take it home. There are some strong things about the run, but it's really rewarding when you get that final solution in Act 4, and it all comes together. Enjoy! Alright, we have Random Rare Relic, Random Rare Card. Well, I think Ironclad likes rare relics a little bit more because one of those cards is one of those relics is called De uh, Dead Branch, right? Now, random rares are very good as well. There's a handful of great rares, like Bludgeon's perfectly fine. Act one, uh, Immolate, Feed, Offering, Reaper, Brutality is even fine. It's like an entry point to r r Rupture. And then there's some bad ones like, I say bad, but they get better later on. Corruption, Barricade, Limit Break. Limit Break is kind of troll, but even it could work. Demon Form, kind of a troll, but it could work. Damn, random rare cards are pretty good. Now that I think about it. But random rare relic. Okay, let's take a look at the first. The path says... Very scarce on elites. Over here we have elites, but it's a four shop all the way through, and that's pretty bad when you have no gold. So if I want to go on the right path, I take a random rare. Random rare, four shops. Okay, at least I have some gold spent. Three upgrades. If I want to do this path, I have no campfires. Well, I can go here. Okay, I can do this. So. I can go here, and then I get shop some gold and two elites. Fuck. Did I beat the hard or man? Wait, no, you didn't watch the hard fight. Isn't that like the most important fight? Aren't you supposed to like watch the hard fight and then and then leave? Isn't like isn't that the protocol? How do you do the opposite? How did you manage to not watch the hard fight? The hell are you doing? Oh, right, speaking of barricade, we got a captain's wheel. Damn, power through battle trance. Okay, what card do you want to upgrade? Um, well, I could upgrade bash, or you can transform a strike. At this point, transform a strike seems to have higher value. But I could also just upgrade Bash and move, carry on. Uh, let's get rid of all this junk. And now let's take a look at the path with fresh eyes. We have Battle Trance, we have Captain's Wheel. Captain's Wheel is good against both Laga and Gremlin Knob, but that doesn't solve the damage aspect. Right? So I can still continue on my path of just uh, two late elites. Now, with that being said, is Bash plus better than Random Transform? I would say yes. Vespers is probably a little bit better. If you want to pass me, then you must grow. Forget what you know and I'll let you go. I require change to see a new space. You know what? I do require change to see a new space. No, he's right. Uh, I regret my choice. I don't need change anymore. Take me back. Take me back to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Cool. I mean, watch right's okay. Wow, this is, uh, man, this is brutal. I I'm not liking this. I could take a headbutt. You could have a battle trance. Phenol pain. Alright, I kind of want to be adventurous and take the, the good face. Or bad face. Last time I did this, I got bit in the ass. I mean, I guess it makes sense to take gold here because I do have a shop on this path.
fecal pain. I want to please take me home. Power through. Damn. I love this card, but I'm kind of in a, I'm in a situation where I have block in turn three and I have no damage. Wound deck. Now, wound deck is going to work because I'm going to buy fire breathing at the shop. No, it's not going to work. I'm on a rock. I can take close line. I shouldn't skip. I shouldn't skip. I shouldn't skip that, right? I probably shouldn't have skipped that, um, that power through. Maybe that was a mistake. I got damage scared. Scared of damage here. Bloodletting. I know Cleave is cool, but Bloodletting is cooler. Case in point. Um. Well, my potion chance is getting pretty high, huh? I want you, please take me home. Ooh, uppercut has arrived. Brutality's here. Rupture, hello. Um, entrench on turn three. Cool. Uppercut. Uppercut feels like a piece of crap because I freaking added a clothesline and I upgraded Bash. So uppercut is so redundant, it's ridiculous. But it's still an attack at the end of the day. But tell me that uppercut doesn't feel super redundant. I guess that's the problem when you upgrade Bash and take Clothesline. Uppercut's just like, uh, are you sure? I still think I take the Uppercut, but I'm willing to be convinced of Brutality here. It's like an entry point for Blood for Blood and Rupture things. I could buy Rupture at the shop, and then I have Rupture scaling for the uh, Exoghost. Damn, imagine that uppercut for upgraded uppercut. Give me rupture right here. Boom! Okay, now I'm intrigued. You know, I was looking desperate, but rupture arrived, and all of a sudden... Hmm. So, RIP membership card, I was... Uh, it's okay, we got rupture, who cares? Rupture, bloodletting, brutality, that's a fucking deck. What next? What's next? Well, Armaments is kind of cute. Because you take Armaments, you upgrade it, and all of a sudden you have Armaments Battle Trend stuff. Or you can take the True Grit for the wound in my deck and the burns and the Hexagos. True Grit's pretty bad because we have to fight Grumman Up. But I already have solution for Grumman Up, so it's not like True Grit's going to hurt me too much. And I'm sure card is sad. Yeah, I agree. True Grit's okay. Normally you don't want to take it this early in Act One, but it actually it's actually okay. It's okay here. It's okay here. Uh, I'll explode the pocket map. Potion chance is extremely high. What kind of turn is this? What kind of turn is this, man? Uh, what kind of turn is that? Holy, we got dubs. Dubsily. Thank you. Uh, do you guys want to explosive pot anyways? No, I don't. I'll just take this fight on the face. Even for my home. 
And now, yeah, I get, get, I get, I get one Reaper and the game's over, yeah? Dean from Zinglet, it's like your mom pushing you over the fence. Wow, my potion chance is sky high. You guys want Armin's back? Uh, Armin's is back. Uh, this time it's going to be Armin's plus. Uh, but I want to do Rupture plus for Hexagos. But Armin's plus looking pretty sick because there's fusion hammer possibilities. Plus the battle trends. Plus the brutality. I draw six cards. I, I like Armin's here. I, I like Armin's here. It's fine. But we still have to fight Grumman Lub, potentially. Oh, we had no cleave for this fight. Bad news. Oh, but maybe this is time for the potion. Maybe the potion has arrived. Maybe it's time for potions. Yeah, but I'm already down two potions, right? It's okay. We're not we're not struggling with Grand Scrumman, are we? Log of Willing, we can play Rupture and scale a little bit. Wait, do we ever die against Hexagos with no potions? And this is a possibility. Here's what I'm thinking. I could full block. This is kind of awkward, right? Because <laughs> like I could just kill one and then block the other two right but then next turn they're going to be attacking me anyways so aren't I better off just taking six now if I take six now that's all that's all the damage I'm taking for the rest of the fight no or I could just full block and then next turn I'm going to have to kill them anyways I got blood in my life. So I take three instead of six. Sufficient. Potion chance? Hello? Uh, ooga, ooga. Do I take this? I mean, I'm not scared of the elite, but I kind of want it. Damn, that's a lot of HP, though. I could just simply upgrade armaments instead. It's a lot of HP for two upgrades. What's up, Grumman? How you doing, brother? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Easy. Oh my god, wow. So I lost 23 HP for two upgrades. Now I really wanted to upgrade Rupture and or Armaments for the um, Exegos fight. So now I'm thinking, what if I upgrade Armaments anyways? I have Red Skull now. What if I upgrade Armaments anyways? Now Rupture... The problem is I have Brutality Rupture, so I'm leaving myself with a couple of turns. Upgrade Armaments anyways. Armaments is a little less good now that I have FIFA to get rid of shit. If I were to rest... If I rest, I don't think I ever die. I think if I rest, I never die. The question is, 
can I armor mention also not die? Then that's when it gets tricky. Because the deck has blooding and it has brutality, so having HP is pretty important. You know what's funny is that if I didn't take that little event, I could have upgraded a card like Armaments and just said 23 more HP into my my face. Because I got a Wild Strike and a Defend, which I don't really care about. I would pay 23 HP to get Armaments, but it just sucks. You think if I don't rush, I die? It's mainly the brutality. It's the bloodletting that kind of took me over the edge there. I forgot to use fruit juice before the rest. I forgot to use fruit juice for the rest. I was reading chat. R.I.P. Um, damn. Yeah, Fuji's for the rest is pretty good. Because here I'm going to get Red Squad activated anyways. Do you guys want to get rid of all your defense and say, sell Evie? Our 12 damage for 2 damage. There's 2 damage. I wish I could upgrade Rupture. What if I do Battle Trance Fiend Fire next turn? Thoughts? I could reapply Bash next turn. By reapply, I mean apply Bash. Damn, son. Sheesh. So, armaments is worth 18 and 19 damage, right? But if I upgrade it, I get minus one. I get a minus 19, but I get plus for each three. So, instead of it's going to be 16, 16 is going to make it so that it's plus eight. Um, so, it's going to turn into 24, five extra per card. Immolate's arrived. Immolate is arrived. Now, what's interesting is that... Um, okay, cool. I had to think in my head. Boom, Immolate. Uh, do you guys want Exhum? No, right? Immolate always? Okay, Pandora's Box or Pyramid? Um, any Pyramid enjoyers? Pyramid allows me to hold on to Pummel, Fiendfire. Huh. Or P-Box Enjoyers. But, well, here's the problem with Pandora's. Strike plus, strike plus, defend plus. Green card has gone to waste. I don't like that. Pandora's is, I mean, who cares? Who cares about the Pandora's getting rid of the green cards? But I mean, Pyramid is probably better. Or what's the alternative? Yeah, the main problem with pyramid is there's no problem with pyramid. Okay, pyramid is actually works. Wait, I forgot to mention. Okay, I have brutality and I have battle trends, so the card draw is a little bit. It's okay. How about this? Take this path. One of these paths. We gotta decide which one, and we end up doing. Elites, because I have Fiendfire, Immolate, and Akabeko. Or is that overconfident? Because the alternative is to go to the right and do two Elites only. Is that overconfident? I 
Also, my question is, would you guys do three events, two fights, or one a fight, th four events? One event is probably going to be a fight anyways. Right? What events are there? Well, we want to see the upgrade traction defense. That's not bad. The other event is... Apparitions. I'm not sure if I'm going to take Apparitions. There's also a Necronomicon event, the book event. Also, Necronomicon, the Apparition, Necronomicon, Upgrade Strikes and Defense. I forgot the names of them. And it was one other event that I like. Okay, Ritual Dagger is probably fine. I'm not sure if I like. Um, yeah, we don't want to see the Bloody Idol event. That's bad. We don't want to see Vampire event. So, I don't want to see Bloody Idol or Vampire. But I want to see events. Fuck it. I shouldn't have brought back armaments, that was a mistake. Unless. Uh, this is this run is just too easy, I guess. Come here, boy. Shrug it off. Green. Ooh, you guys want this? Ah, uh, should we can remove or transform two? Well. I have no shop in my future, do I? I do not. So how about I remove and upgrade? How about that? GG. La 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 la. Second wind. Oh my fucking! It's green. Okay, where is my toxic egg? Is it stuck? In my like? Is it somewhere that I can't see? A green shrug and a green second wind. The game just wants to be easy. I'll buy one potion. Or, isn't it most efficient to buy three? Alright, let me put one RGB cycle down. Check mark. What's the check mark? How do you do a check mark? Is that. This is kind of like a. Uh, uh, okay, that makes sense. If it, if it doesn't make sense, everybody will ask about it in chat, and it will confuse the whole chat. Um, why buy three when you have a good potion ready? Because by buying three, you have more options. It's only for, for 20 more gold, you have more options, and also you can find fruit juices. You know what I'm saying? Like, math-wise, for the pr price of 20 extra gold, you get to see two more potions. Okay. What's the one that you want? I mean, 20 gold. I like the choice. But I also am really greedy about my gold. I like having gold, right? Okay. What are you guys buying here? Firepot is better for slavers. Flexpot is better for Fiendfire into... So Flexpot is better for Fiendfire into Book of Stabby and Gremlin Leader. Firepot's better for slavers in terms of uh, diversifying damage. So Flex is better for two elites. Fire is better for one. Wait, do we want Liquid Memories? Liquid Memories is worse than Firepot. How about I get both options? Force Shop. Now, why do you got to force a shop on me? And why do you got to get rid of my bag of marbles and my toolbox? Now, that's just fucked up. See, this is why you don't take question marks, because four shops are the worst. I forgot to mention. I wasn't trying to manifest that, but it happened. That's just messed up, man. I can't even remove a card. If I can remove a strike, this is fine. All right, remove a strike, this is perfect, but I can't even. So you can take chemokinesis, it's more rupture, but I don't need that either. This is just really bad for a shop. It's a waste of a floor. It's a waste of a floor. Damn, that pains me. I think I gotta leave ASAP because the more I think about it, the more it's gonna pain me to just look at that shop. Alright, if I draw Fiendfire, I'm popping it now, right? 
Because I can also just play Bash and just wait. Fuck it. Damn, look at Second Wind. It's such a powerhouse of a fucking card. Second Wind Pyramid is just disgusting. And I draw into Fiendfire next turn, no? Wait, this deck can go infinite. Wait, this deck can go infinite very easily. Pyramid, Second Wind, Fiendfire, this deck can go infinite no problem. One Dark Embrace, I'm infinite, basically. Even without Dark Embrace. Uh, it's kind of a the problem with this is it's kind of a waste of my resources. All right, so we have lethal, right? If we do fex pot, what's the potion chance? Does anybody know? What if I can just kill this guy without wasting flex pot? Potion chance, look at that. Sentinel. Now, Sentinel is interesting. It's energy. It's green. Why are all the skills green? Where is the toxic deck? Where is it hiding? Where is it hiding? Max HP. Yowza. Max HP. Imagine if I upgraded Immolate. I was going to upgrade Immolate, but then I decided, you know... I decided to upgrade Fiendfire, but MLA upgrade clears this. This is awkward. Because this is going to be a big fat waste of, uh, uh, this is fine. How about we do this? We do that and we do Toxic Egg. I mean, we do a uh, second wind and wait. But then he's going to weaken me. I could take damage. It's okay to take damage, right? Damn, Emily upgrade makes this such an easy fight. But now I have to take an extra 14 to the face. Unless I decide to get weakened and do emulate when it's less powerful next turn. You're not studying? Study, sir. Here's what I could do. I could waste fire pot for four damage. Three damage. Ah, oh, whatever, dude. Whatever. 14 to the face. I made the wrong upgrade choice. It happens. Damn. Sentinel. Wow. That's, that's incredible. Oh, I forgot that it's not second winds. <laughs> Wait, I forgot that was a second wind. <laughs> Whoops. I got confused for a second. That was a brain fart. A lot of potions. Rupture's back. Now, damn, that's a green rupture, but we don't need it, do we? How many ruptures is too many? If I upgrade brutality, then that's fine. But we don't have Reaper, so it's like, eh, it's kind of slow. But it's a lot of strength gain as well. 
Two ruptures are too many. I mean, didn't I do a run? I haven't put it in YouTube, unfortunately. But I had a run where... The, the day after I shit on rupture, I had a run where I had three ruptures. Well, the third one was for content. Damn. Oh, and Bottle Flame normally is a skip, but in this situation, Bottled Fiendfire? Pretty good. Pretty good, Bottle Fiendfire. Do I need help with champ? I don't need help with the champ, no. But I, I make the deck get a couple Reapers and the GG. Bottle Fiendfire is pretty good. Absolutely, with Akabeko and thinning out the deck immediately. Just makes my life so much easier, no? Okay, I, let's think about it this way. How does Bottle Flame on Fiendfire help Act 3? Does it help solve anything? It can kill the Reptomancer immediately. It doesn't help against the Giant Head. The Giant Head is still the scale. And then Nemesis, it helps against Nemesis. Does it help against Act 3 bosses? Not necessarily, but it helps. How much does it help against Act 3 fights? Well, the AoEs, if you'd rather have Immolate. I mean, Bottle, fight, Bottle Fiendfire is... It helps, but like it's not necessary either, I don't think. I'm doing it, fuck it. I don't think it's necessary though. Helps in this fight for sure. I'm getting, I've been getting so many potion chances, it's not really my fault. Should we ring? You guys want it? It's green. Is my offense already solved though? I'll take it. Helps against this fight. Battlefield Fire is very good in this fight. How much is it again? It's um 72, no? 72 is not enough. You know what I really want to do? Fuck. Maybe brutality makes me take two extra damage for no reason. That brutality was probably not necessary. So I can brace is good for like Act 3, Act 4. It's kind of a curse now, but it's a curse now that I can probably afford to take because my deck's so strong. And then now I'm done. I'm like approaching done. Um, should we just go Fiend Fire on the, the Gremlin Leader here and go crazy? Thoughts? How much damage is it? If I draw, so if I do Battle Trance. It's going to be 8 times 18. Close enough. Hope it doesn't bite me in the ass. Because now I'm weakened. It bit me in the ass. It bit me in the ass. It bit me in the ass. Why, why, why did I fall for this? Why have I fallen for this? Could I avoid it? Mm. Impervious. What's next? You guys want to upgrade the armaments or upgrade the emulate?
Armin seems okay. I have a lot of upgrade debt right now. Unceasing top. Mm, interesting. That's actually quite nice because you notice I've been doing Fiend Fire of Excess Energy and Sentinel. Now the Extra Energy Sentinel is playable. That's fucking sick, actually. Uh oh, this could be a really bad fight. I think I'm gonna just pass my turn and let Fiend Fire kill next turn. All right, fight solved. <laughs> Scary fight, he said. Was it though? <laughs> No! I took a dark embrace and they gave me a green one. They gave me a green one. This is why you have to be patient, because hindsight is a bitch. Um. Do you guys want a green dark embrace, anyways? Because once I get the champ done, I have energy relic. My deck's pretty good. Cuando una carta exuarir, compre un carta, una carta. This is Portuguese. All right. Adam, you know, you're enabling bad habits. You know this, right? You're telling me things like take the green cards and you are enabling a bad habit. But you know what? I will entertain it. And I'm okay with it. Whoo! Hello! Scaling has arrived. Time to find brutality. Oh yeah, I have trouble freeing up my hands. What if I just fiend fire all of this and say I'm done? No, it's reckless, it's reckless. Oh, I do need to free up hand space, one sec. This is... Wait, I actually kind of do need to free up hand space. Wait a second, wait a second. Uh... Guys? See, for long fights, this is a problem because in a hallway fight, I pop this, no problem. But in a long fight, I gotta be more mindful. Alright, so if I fiend fire this whole hand, what, do I, what am I left with? Second one gets rid of everything. I'm left with Strike, Strike, Headbutt, Emulate, and the worst cards in my deck. RIP. RIP, you will be missed. Okay. Está bien, está bien. I'm trying to draw into bloodletting here. Bloodletting. Ah, uh, game's over. Look at the scaling. Damn, son. GG. That's all it took. All it took was a little bit of. Wait, should I wait for um? Deck gets damaged quickly. Wow. Give me a Reaper right now. Reaper right now. Reaper right now. Okay. Who wants feed? Or you say feed is just a distraction. Offering win game. Feed is a distraction, offering a win game. Well, it's a distraction. Let's talk about it. So metascaling of feed gives us a bigger health pool. Health pool is important because we are, in some regards, using our HP to scale attack or strength. 
So if we have a big fat um, HP pool, we can go stall for rupture, get a lot of scaling from strength, and then just kill him in the turn. If we're talking in terms of heart, I can kill it on turn like four, five, and six. But it's going to be hard with Fiendfire on the deck. Right? So we feed while avoiding Fiendfire, and if I draw it, then it's like a pain in the ass. But let's say give or take feet could give us like 18 max HP if I'm really patient. All right. So we can get one curse in our deck, which can exhaust no problem, or a philosopher's stone. Let's take the curse. I'm okay with a curse. I'm not curse reverse. All right, a lot of... Potential mind blooms. And there's two elites here. And there are there are two elites here. And there are three elites here. Okay. So one path has three elites and tons of hallway uh, events and tons of hallway fights. The other one has a lot of events, but only two elites. What would you guys prefer? Two elites, more events, or more hallway fights, one more elite? Personally, I want to get more events because Mind Bloom is just fun. However, if I get the gold, I can buy and remove the normality here. And I can remove normality here. Let's go hunting. It's time to go hunting. My posture is terrible right now. Someone should tell me something. My posture is terrible right now. Oh. So, compre is the draw. Compre when a carta is draw. Because in Spanish, I would be like, I bought. I bought a card. Or telling someone to buy something. Compre, no? Draw is compre. Portuguese is weird. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's see how we're going to do this. These guys are aggressive. Give me a sec. Really? I took extra damage? What's wrong with me? Can't believe I played that 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 poorly. It's not gonna matter. Oh, 69, that's just perfect. So scene red is positive, no? Yeah, draw is a weird word. You're actually right. Draw a card, draw a sword, draw a picture, uh luck up the draw. Well that, that's still in the same vein of draw. Seen red positive. We have two dark embraces. Yeah. First one is not mind bloom. However, it's madness. Now, does madness help us go infinite? Well, madness is interesting because it has dark embrace attached to it. And it frees up hand space sometimes. Madness feels very cloggy, if I'm being honest. I'll lose you more max which sucks. Mind bloom? No. Mind bloom? I'll fight this. So this is going to be 40 plus 40. No, nope. 40 plus 30. Eh. If I do Fiend Fire, it's how much again? 72? Not good. Could be a flex spot turn. Madness tops energy. Yeah, that's true. I guess maybe I should have played that differently because I could have saved Fiendfire for this guy. Why did I do that? 
I could have saved him further. Take three or save impervious? Uh, let's save impervious. We're taking a lot of damage to our face. Do we like that? Are we a fan of taking damage to our face? Or should we play this differently? Let's take damage to our face. Stone counter. Were you guys happy about that? If I told you I fight this and I get stone counter, okay, it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. Any of these you want? Not really, right? What do we got? Mind bloom. Ooh. Now I spy with my little eye a pain with the rupture. Is it worth it? Okay, if I had Reaper, yes. Without Reaper, I'm not sure. Like without like a way to sustain it back, I don't think it's worthwhile. It's infinite strength, but also infinite HP loss that I can't recover. Yeah, but that's like that's like a rupture's what dream is having a pain. So what's the upgrade? Second darker base green, scene red, no offering, maybe bloodletting, maybe brutality. Oh, super brutality. That's fun. That's cute. I like that. What's the next upgrade? Emily ah, is running. See, the thing is, Emily is now running out of its. Uh... Oh, let's get rid of all this distracting me. Okay, let's run run its course. I feel like. Hmm, I can make true grit not a piece of crap. I can make sure we're not a piece of crap, I guess. Sure. I can also make bloodletting better. Scene red better. Dragon Brace better. Make sure we're not a piece of crap, I guess. Whatever. It feels bad to waste an upgrade, but it is what it is. Alright, mine blood didn't happen. Rip. I could have just saved that for next turn. Next turn I would have had a lot more success out of that. Now that I think about it. Next turn I would have had a lot more success. Because now, this I should have saved Impervious for the Spiker. Spiker's going to be a pain in the ass. Wait, I should have done even more damage to the Spiker. Spiker. Oh, no, Spiker's not a pain in the ass. What am I talking about? Easiest fight ever. I forgot I had that card. Stone Calendar have my back too. Another shrug. Alright. Two elites or shopping spree. I like the two elites into more mind bloom hunting, which means I have to force recall, which is fine. Or shopping spree. Let's go this way, two elites. I like relics. If you guys haven't realized, I like relics. Ooh, this would have been a good fiend fire. I can still save it though. What is do it now? Alright, GG.
Limit Break is like... Okay, if I had Reaper, Limit Break is cool, but without it, it's like... What the hell are you doing here? The hell? This is just a skip. Now, this is sad because that's my rare chance. My rare chance is down the drain for a Limit Break that I don't want. Could have been anything else. And a Zoom or Reaper. Another Impervious. I'm gonna skip here. Everybody says go infinite with strength, but that's not a problem. Wow. A periapt. How cute. Four strength to turn. And time to go lethal. I shouldn't have done that because now I had no deck left. I just realized I don't have a deck left. Actually, I do. I have Sir Boomerang. Wait, I actually want to hit Bash. Huh. Old coin. Okay, that's like Mind Bloom, sort of. Don't tap or skip. Don't tap doesn't do shit. What does don't tap do for me? I don't need more attacks. I need to just get. I mean, I guess my deck's pretty much done. I'm I'm good. Life's good. Life is good. What's my potion chance right now? Hmm. We got left banks with the follow. Man's coming in hot. Hey, look at that. Wait, I'm taking too much damage, aren't I? I should slow it down. Ooh, that's a good potion. Uppercut a scene red number two. We talked about uppercut being redundant with the fact that I have bash clothesline. But it is uppercut, which is much more efficient use of energy instead of clothesline. Versus scene red number two, which is pretty positive with double dark embrace. Yeah, I kind of just decided not to lose, like, somehow in my mind, I'm like, well, I'm just going to do bloodletting and offerings, and I forgot to mention, wait, I need to save my life. This is not coming back easily. I'm playing a little reckless. Yeah, so I got to make sure I tighten up these next two floors. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, more sources of weakness is always nice. Fuck it. Oh, Frozen Eye Enjoyers? Any Frozen Eye Enjoyers? What about Nunchaku Enjoyers? What's the removal? Let's remove a strike because we can get rid of regret with various means. Carry on. Right, let's, try to, let's try to preserve our HP here. Wow, preserve HP, he said, and he still gets his ass completely railed. Fuck, man. Ah, if I didn't pay the first thing, I could have... Oof. Fuck, 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 fuck. 
Oh, I'm taking even more damage here. Oh my goodness. Wait, maybe the regret was a mistake. I can draw into True Grit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is... <laughs> Guys, please, don't judge me. I know this is painful. Fuck. My health is way too low for this. Shit. Really? Yeah, maybe getting rid of regret was the problem. Uh, it was the solution there. I'm thinking fuck a pummel. Oh, goodbye, Dragon Brace. Where's the final pain? Where's the Reaper? Where's everything? Where's my HP? What am I doing? I'm at 36. This should be free fights. Oh my god, I'm using offering willy nilly. I'm just being reckless as fuck. I better win this because if I don't, ha wait, I don't even have the HP for awaken one. Oh, I think I lost this run. I think I'm dead. It is dawning me that I have a wicked one at 36 HP. It's a problem. Alright, so what powers are we playing? Mm. Yeah, no Philippine, no uh, Reaper. I think this is the best, the way to lose streaks is not about the fact that the game is hard. Forget that, the game is not hard. I mean, it is. The way you lose streaks is simply by being careless and like autopilot. Somehow I ended up with 36 HP. Okay, it is what it is. What powers are you playing? I'm not even sure. I don't think I can beat this fight. I can one shot the big bird, or what I could do is try to make the deck really tiny with second wind and just second wind constantly. But the problem with that is I don't have infinite fodder. Like if I had power through, then sure, power through second wind is a the gift that keeps on giving. But in this case, wait, I can go infinite. I can't even go infinite because I didn't add a card that adds infinite to my deck. I don't even have, like, Shrug It Off is kind of cool. Even if you don't have infinite, you can get a lot of block with Shrug It Off. But I don't even have a card that draws into Shrug It Off. Like a, like a Palmer Strike, for instance. This deck is lacking a lot of resources. Hmm... What if I play no powers at all in this fight? What if I don't play any powers at all in this fight? I mean, Rupture seems nice. Like, at least one Rupture seems fine, right? No. No, Rupture seems good. Okay, so I think I'll play one brutality, one Rupture, that's it. But the problem with that is that, okay, Brutality puts me in a clock. That's okay. It also gives true strength. And then Rupture is going to be guaranteed scaling in the back. Okay, actually, what if the solution is to play Brutality in both Ruptures and try to go as much damage as possible? Now that I think about it, wait, what if it's double Rupture, Brutality, and go 
full in and try to kill the second phase quickly. I think that's the solution, actually. I think it's brutality double rupture. And lean into the all the powers. And then go so much strength that the second phase is dead. Is there anything we want to keep? Well, we could keep Battle Trends in the deck, right? Keep Battle Trends, keep a Shrug, and get rid of everything else. Thoughts? I but next turn is rough. Because wouldn't you rather use second win next turn when I'm getting infinite damage to the face? So this is a situation where maybe you want to have Impervious for this turn. I'd rather have second win next turn when I'm getting hit in the face. Unless I can say I can kill next turn. Which actually is possible. Look at the defect I did. Defect was very easy. Hmm, now that I think about this, having a purpose for this turn so that I can save second win for the following turn is really nice. But barring that, I think... Ah, we you know what the problem is? Ah, uh, give me a sec, give me a sec. I have a solution here. I have a solution here. Hydration got you. Let me tell you what I'm thinking about. I know it sounds crazy. I'm thinking about getting to Dark Embrace. Going full damage here. I see the problem is I want to play the Rapture because I think double scale is important. But I can I can go through my deck really quickly here with Fiend Fire Sentinel. Draw into the Offering. Play Scene Red. Play Uppercut. And I can really draw deep into my deck here. So I can kill next turn so I don't get the multi-hit. But the problem is then I'm still going to take 40 of the face on the following turn. And that can be solved if I get Headbutt on Second Wind. But then if I'm using Fiendfire, Hepa Second Wind is not a thing. There's like all these little things running through my head. There are like things that can solve certain turns, but the order to do it is really hard. Plus, I only have four energy. I mean, I can imagine if I can bring back Second Wind for the 40 attack turn, I'm fine. But if I have so much strength, maybe I can just kill as well. Maybe that's the turn that I Fiendfire in that turn. Oh, I, I, this is winnable. This is winnable. This is winnable. The more I simmer here, the more I think this is winnable. This is winnable. And I think Time Eater is easier to fight for me. And Dono and Deca is... Okay, it's scary. But Dono and Deca, I have a, a days per second wind. This is winnable. I'm just looking at it. It's very winnable. I just got to find the line here. Dono deck, I have days for the second wind. Time meter is one shot a I can get a couple of rupture scaling and boom, go for the kill. This is the this is the hard fight. This is the fight. Now the hard fight is still difficult. But I have a shot before then, so I, I'm gonna treat this fight as a fight that I'll use a potion. I'm gonna use a potion here if I have to. Cause I think the next boss is a uh, winnable. Like easier than this fight. Mm. I need to take a stretch. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, at the tip of my brain, I can, I'm trying to see how I want to play this turn. I don't want to fuck it up because this is very winnable. I can see it. Uh, I'm going to sit here for a little bit just because this is a really hard fight, hard turn. So I'm, sure, I'm going to let this simmer because my brain is probably working in the background. I can't tell you the answer consciously, but I'll think about it. I'm going to let it simmer. Let's discuss lines and see what lines don't work. I normally don't go this in depth in these turns, but it would feel accomplished. I would feel accomplished if I get this turn and I, and I succeed this fight. This is a feel-good moment if I, if I make this work. I provide more stability in your life than your, uh, than your family. True that. I relate, brother. Cheers to unstable, dysfunctional families. Okay. 
let's think here. Yeah, so DuPont Shrug is Drawstock Embrace. Exactly. DuPont Shrug, Drawstock Embrace. If I Drawstock Embrace this turn, I have one energy left over. One energy left over means second wind gives me three energy back. And then it draws one, two, rupture, three, four, five cards. I draw five cards, so then I'm going to be at one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Scene Red draws another card, boom, six cards. Then Offering draws another four cards. One, two, three, four. Bloodletting is in my hand. So I can do Battle Trance, Rupture, Bloodletting, play a card. No, but that's bad. That's bad. Maybe I don't play Battle Trance at all. Maybe I'll do Rupture, Bloodletting. No, fuck. The thing is, I want to play Rupture. Ah. There's a reason why I don't like Dark Embrace. Oh, let me ask one second. Okay. So that, that is a line, but then the problem is I think in order for me to win this fight, I need to have Rupture in play. But I really need a lot of um, strength. So that I can just manhandle the second phase, second part. If I do Duke, if I do Dupont Shrug and Dark Dragon Brace, then I can't play the first rupture. Unless. So next turn I have how much? Block. I have 18 block. What if I say second win for next turn? Man. Is there a world where I kill by next turn? Is there a world where I kill by next turn? If I fiend fire now, boom. I draw rupture, I play rupture, boom. I play dark embrace, I play dark, okay, boom. Now I have dark embrace rupture, and then I play offering. So then I, I can draw one, two, three, four cards, five cards. And then I have uppercut, sword boomerang. I can just fiend fire right away. But then not having to take a win in the deck seems bad, no? Because I can win is my block solution for the second phase. Or are there other block solutions for the second phase? Second phase I can block like with just defense, I guess. Is your internet? Is it, I think I dropped 700 frames, but the internet seems fine. It seems stable. It maybe it maybe it's like one moment where it drops. It should be good though. No, it should be good though. It should be good. I think it was just maybe like one moment. It should be good. How do I preserve second wind though? It's hard to preserve second wind. Hmm. Is losing out a second wind a problem?
Fuck. This is so. I'm so sorry. This turn is so. It takes such a long time. Uh, what if I, okay, what if I headbutt Emily? shrug, okay, wait, wait. headbutt Emily. shrug, second wind, And then, no, but then I want to preserve second wind for the following turn, no? But then I have Dark Embrace and a lot of card draw next turn with Fiend Fire. Okay. But is Hebba, is Hebba worth it for the Emulate? Kills the Cultist. Is that relevant? Is killing the Cultist relevant? It feels relevant because otherwise I get my ass kicked, no? Uh, I have a feeling I'm not gonna think this through all the way. I won't have second one for the following turn. So next turn, if I don't have second one for the following turn, I'm gonna be. Well, I'm gonna kill next turn. Um, the thing is, I could do... I could battle chance. So I could do two things. I could do, I could do second win now and then emulate. Or... I could battle trance. Dark Embrace. Offering. Yeah. Dark Embrace. I can play Dark Embrace. No, I can play Rupture. No. Okay, I can do Dark Embrace, Offering. Rupture, Second Wind, Emulate. The problem with that is Offering won't draw. But that's fine. Do you want to get the draw out of offering? How much damage do I have? 
I upgrade him. How much damage do I have? I can use a potion this turn. It's fine. We're always uppercutting here, right? <coughs> okay. This is 60 damage. If I, if I do pot, it's 120. If I do this first, it becomes 18 times 4. Seventy-two times two is one forty-four. One forty-four plus um, plus thirty-nine. I can get lethal this turn. Then I gotta draw back into second wind. Do I want to do put the super ring? Do I need to, or do I need to see if do pot for the second phase? Because it's about to be forty to the phase. Well, second wind can handle the second phase, but I have to, how do I draw back into second wind is the question. How do I draw back into second wind? How much time is that? 144, 144 plus... I'm going to have one, two, three cards. So instead of, this is going to be 19, 27, sorry, not 27, 28, 28 times 3, 144, 6, 228. How much is a strike at that point? 228. I have 9 strength. It'll be 18, 27. 27. About to be lethal. 127. 127. But then I have one more strike. Um, I'm just going to draw 3 cards. I'm going to draw 3 cards. Uh huh. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm, I'm, I'm missing 1 card. I think I have 20, I'm missing two damage. How do I get two damage? I'm missing two damage. I got two hundred fifty five damage. How do I get two more damage? Figure it out. The problem is, um, if I can brace true grit, draws two cards. If I get into second win, I win this turn. Um, if I do speed pot, it's okay because I think the next fight, time meter, I win. Time meter, I win. And don't deco I win as well. Drawing two cards seems important, no? 
unless I just full block and say who cares, who gives a damn. I could just simply full block with the speed putt. The problem is, what if I don't draw back into cards that are good? Dragon Bridge draws an extra two cards, and then see I can see what I what I want battle trends, or I could just do pure defense and try to draw into Shrug or Second Wind. What do you guys think? Is Dr. Ray's worth the one energy or should I just try to um, battle trance into another defend? Oh, I only have second wind or shrug that I can hit. It's not that great. Alright, true I can hit true as well. Nice. I hit the true grit. Uh, is uppercut positive? Next turn it is. I have lethal next turn as well. GG, brother. Blood I don't want to do it because if I do blood lightning, um, basically, if I do blood lightning, I guess technically I could draw back into Shroom Ring now. But the thing is, I want to preserve this HP because this is the HP that I'm losing. This is the HP that I'm losing for the next boss fight. The next boss fight is actually relevant. Now, I'm going to say, if I lose... Because I was too reckless with my hallway fight HP, I'm going to be so pissed. Because instead of being 36, I could have been, what, 50, 60? But instead I was so reckless in hallway fights for no damn reason. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. Bloodletting necessary. I'm going to have 15 strength next turn. I swear, if it's the hallway fight, recklessness, it kills me. Okay. I think time better is very easy. Time better should be easy, right? Ah, but time meter does hurt as well. Okay. I'm happy to see time meter. Time meter is one shotable. Very good. I'm happy to see this. Yeah, I didn't enjoy the watcher as much exactly. And then if I do well with the watcher, let's say like I take my time and I, then the watcher just wins a lot. No. I'm not saying watcher's free. We'll do some watcher. We'll fuck it. We'll see. Maybe maybe I, I kind of forgot why I stopped playing watcher. I used to know better. I played Watcher and it was a lot of math and a lot of lethal and everything was like you can go you can force infinite or you can just do crazy broken things. I was like, oh, this wasn't as interesting. But I haven't played it in a while, so I can do it, I can do it again. Okay. I'm pretty sure the bottom of the deck. I really gotta win this because I do not want to be hallway fight sloppiness 
to be the death of me. That would be tragic. All right, guys. How are we winning this fight? By playing ruptures. How do we get to rupture? Very slowly. What if I do a big fat fiend fire to help the accelerate the fight? You think so? You think come down just to card draw down? What about the fact that like I have to block a lot and my second wind's all the way over here? But I can do 240 no problem, right? 240 no problem, and then I can give myself a, a one-term reprieve. So is it always brutality offering, yes or no? Brutality offering, and then defend twice. Most of my deck, the good stuff is at the bottom. This is, this is tough, because Dark Embrace is also at the bottom. So I'm not sure. All right, brutality offering, draw three. I don't fucking know. Bad trench draws four. How many cards is that leaving me with? It leaves me with one, two, three, six cards, and then left with four cards. Perfect. Left with four cards. No, I'm not. I'm left with. So if I do battle trends, I have six, but then I have ten cards. I play these three, and I draw three more. That's bad. Pervious, do nothing. And I draw into this. So slow. And then I draw into this. Wow, this fight's tough. Is it ever just battle trance? Play defend pass. Next time we do offering go crazy. Man, this is tough. If I fiend fire, maybe I could have saved Dupont last round. Battle trance can't get me see and spinning top because battle trance effects. Oh, you're saying fiend fire first? So you don't want to play brutality at all? Or offering. The thing about Fiend Fire is that it could be an aggressive. Um, Fiend Fire could be an aggressive way to draw cards once I have Dark Embrace, but it's, I promise I'm not getting Dark Embrace. Brutality seems important because I can draw six cards. And then I draw six cards again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So if you want to fiend fire right away, we can strike, scene red, battle trance, defend, defend, right? And then we're left with these two cards in our hand. Next turn we have impervious for the block. And we can draw six cards, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can play impervious, something else, something else. Maybe bash, if we need to block. Then we, next turn we draw... Well, we're left with... Well, at that point, we're going to have eight cards in our hand, right? So we have to play some cards. So, like, 
Defend, defend. This gets rid of itself. This. And then I draw into this. Plus five. What? Plus four. What to do four? That's problematic. This is tough. Does hang into FWF strength and cards? Well, first off, I can't take that damage to the face. So it's kind of rough. Secondly, I need to draw into both Rupture and Dark Embrace. Am I sure? So I need to. You know what I'm saying? I can't hold on to cards. I have to play cards to get to the cards that I want to get to. Uh, we can, so this is that turn. With this... We're left with two cards. And we draw six. We're at eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Depending on what he does, we can free up three cards, four cards, then I'm at four cards. I draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shrug draws a second wind. All right. So here we can free up four cards, right? No, I can't. I don't for free. Let's do blooding just for free. So how many cards do I have? Uh, I can play five. So I can do shrug, rupture, bloodletting. It's three cards. Four, five. And then I have one, two, three, four cards minus. Five cards minus. So five cards out of that. I can then I draw back into dark embrace. Second wind. Just doing previous now. Okay, that part's done. Now we have Dragon Brace. We're drawn to the second rupture. Shrubble rings here. Our strength is going up. I can one shot him soon. And get me the fuck out of here. So I'm thinking Dark Embrace, Uppercut, Second Wind. A lot of wasted block, unfortunately. How much cards do I draw if I do that? Though I, I want to use Second Wind on a turn where I have to block, though. Imagine... Imagine using Second Wind now when I don't have to block. I guess the goal is to try to kill him before... Doesn't it make sense to use, go, so what is it? What is it? What is the negative effect right now? Is the negative effect uh, vulnerable? I really wish he was attacking turn three because I can block like crazy right now. Because I already have the captain's view plus the fact that I have second one in my hand. Is he making me vulnerable and weakened? Am I fucked next turn? I can weaken him plus I have second wind. I think I have to hold on to second wind, which means. It, I'm taking regrets to the face. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. You guys know what, what debuff I'm getting right now? To the face? If I do Dark Embrace, Uppercut, and Defend, Six. I'm at five. I draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I don't. I don't really have a choice, right? You, you guys don't second win here, do you? Just to get rid of regret. If you do second win to get rid of regret, you draw into a whole bunch of cards. But the problem is, you have to block next turn. So would you hold second win just to block next turn? It seems likely, no.
Uh, let's see if you're confident we can draw back into second wind. You just want to keep True Grid around, or no? Who's keeping True Grid around? If you keep True Grid around, you can get rid of Regret easier. Because Regret now would kill me. Just about. By keeping Trugit around, I have a second target to get rid of Regret. Can he stop that? No. No. It's the Regret that's a pain in the ass. Regret is a pain in the ass. Our damage is getting up there though. Okay, how many cards we can play? A lot. Fuck, I didn't think this through. I should have exhausted more cards. The true grit, again, to shrug it off, I'm fine this turn. How much life do I have? Just barely enough. But now I need to get lethal, though. Ask me how many turns? If I didn't do True Grit and I instead just got rid of True Grit, I got plus one, plus one card draw. Which keeps me alive this turn because then I can do Shrug It Off Defend. Okay, but if I do Uppercut, I'm at 25, 25 plus 12. Alright, we have like a couple of turns. Are we dead next turn? I can even do, uh, I can't even do blue lighting. Okay, so now we go crazy, right? We do, I can't do true, I can't do, ah, uh, this sucks, because I have to do second wind, but if I do second wind, um, Regret kills me, right? So how the fuck do I handle regret? Second wind, headbutt second wind. How the fuck do you handle regret here? No, no, no. We second wind. It draws one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the solution is don't draw five. Simple enough. Defend, and then draw one, two, three, four. How much block is that? It's going to be one, two, three, four, 28, 28 plus eight. All right, so defend, second wind, and then finish off with a bash. And we kill next turn. And then we have um, like Shrub Ring Strike. So Shrub Ring Headbutt, Shrub Ring stuff. 
What if we keep the true grit instead? So true grit. Get rid of wild. Uh, get rid of immolate. And then we do second wind. One, two, three, four cards. No, I can't do true grit because it's gonna draw to regret. Never mind. Let's do true grit, defend, second wind. And then I draw one, two, three cards. And those three cards are gonna be headbutt strike. Okay. And then we go for lethal. How? What if I don't use second wind at all? What if I do shrug, true grit, defend, defend? No, I can only do two minutes. Okay. So I have 20, 28 block. How much is she? Yeah, Trigger draws, but I, I can just play an extra defend. She's doing 28, right? So if I do shrug, true grit, defend, I'm good. So it's going to be four strength. So right now, technically she's at nine times three, right? Technically she's at 10 times three, but she's going to be 12 times three, 12 times three. She's going to get down to eight times three. We're, not, we're fine. No, we have, more, we, we have next turn and the turn after to kill. So we have three turns to kill, including this one. So I do defend, true grit, defend. No, defend, shrug it off, defend. How much is this actually? It's gonna be sixteen twenty-four. Guys, is she is she doing eight times three or nine times three? Because if I can hold shrug, it's really good because that means I can do boomerang, headbutt, shrug, boomerang. It's nine times three right now. Plus two strength. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Game's over. So, how much damage is this? Not, not enough, 46. The regret's bad. We, we can handle the regret and the retrial though, right? Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is 264, right, we're good. 264, 264 plus 46, we're good. All right. I had brain fire for a second. Rick, doesn't kill me here, right? Because I never end my turn. I I know like so I know that regret won't kill me, but somehow I'm scared that regret's gonna kill me. It won't though, because the fight's over.
right? Unless you guys want to play it safe and just second wind. Like, I never worry about this any other time, but because it's like, if, if I'm wrong, I die, it, it makes me, it sends me into panic. I get a second win and win anyways. Alright, well, let's just trust it. Of course, that, of course that's how it works. Of course, I knew that. Okay, um, well, we have a big shop. No potions. Let's see. Are there any upgrades that are worth 20, um, not 22 HP, sorry. 17 HP. Any upgrades worth 17 HP? Maybe Impervious is worth 17 HP. The fact that I got through those freaking bosses. Very nice. Alrighty, let's bring it home. Let's bring it home. Is Impervious worth 17 HP? I don't think so. Well, no, it's clearly not. Unless I, Impervious blocks... Impervious is worth 17 HP if it blocks the extra 10 for both fights. Both the heart and... And the Act 4 Elite. I burned so much AP in the, the hallway fights. Lizard Tail. <clears throat> is that a Lizard Tail? Is that a fucking pellets as well? What does pellets do? Pellets says battle trance no longer stops your draw. You can go crazy with draw. Pellets says, oh, the vulnerable against the heart. No, it's no longer there. The frail no longer there. Oh my god. Now, I want to buy potions, but tail pellets is great. Tail and pellets is fantastic. I think the chip is worse than the tail pellets. I ha I'm not worried about card draw. I have so much card draw. I mean, I want to get potions, but... The pellet solves the vulnerable stage as well, plus the frail. And it allows me to do dark and, uh, like battle trends and still draw. Okay, against the heart. I think it's tail pellets. Let's go. No potions, though. So here, we just get a full hand in Fiendfire, right? So Fiendfire is going to be not good enough. How much block did they get here? They get enough block to be, for it to be problematic. How much block does he get? Because if I can just do impervious fiend fire next turn on the guy on the left, we're, we, we solved the fight, no? I do brutality, and then next turn I do impervious fiend fire on the left. Done. And then it's a 1v1. 1v1 I can handle. Pellet chip, you won't die anyway, so no need for tail. Pellet chip, is you think, is better than lizard tail? I think the reason why I want lizard tail is because if I want to. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe maybe the the gamership makes it so that I don't need the tail to begin with. That's true. It's okay. We just pass, no? How much block does it get again? Like thirty? I think we're fine. So impervious, fiend fire. Let me just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 80, 64. No, not enough. I can't do impervious then. Well, if I can't do impervious, then what the fuck am I doing? Fuck, I want one more energy. I want one more energy then.
How do I play this? Yeah, I get to draw a battle trance and then I get to draw scene red, dark, and brace. But then I'm still taking infinite damage to the face. But it might be worth doing if you fire to a guy left anyways. I promise he doesn't die. And this guy does more damage if I do that. Just take 61 damage. Is he negative strength? Is he about to do negative strength on me? Well, I can't. I can cancel the buff of pellets. Yes. If I do that, battle trance, then dark embrace, or scene red and then dark embrace. I want to keep up cut around, but it's hard. Holy, what? What? So we could offer him. If we offer him, we draw, boom, rupture. All right, and we can know. So wait, we want to save a power, right? If we save a power, let's take a look. If we do brutality. Okay, if I do, okay. I'm going to be at... Three plus three. And then next turn I can just play Rupture. I'm gonna draw how many cards? Six. Hmm. I can play Bash. I'll play Bash. I'm not gonna play these two. So I'm at four cards, draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, game's over. Okay. 
Wait, I think about the fact that my attack is Fiendfire. Oh, I need to save a strike. Ah! Oh my god. I am so silly. My attack is Fiendfire. I am so silly. Wait a minute, that's actually fine. One, two, three. Strike, uppercut, done. One, okay, armament makes this give me two more energy. Two more energy. I can play impervious, fiend fire, strike, uppercut, done. How much energy do I have after that? So I'll uh, minus three, but plus, plus two, plus three, so plus five energy. So I'm at surplus of two. Mm, I, I can't play impervious then. And no impervious then, huh? What if I just do bloodletting? Uh, armament, see my bloodletting. But two, four, seven. But I want to get the weekend. And if I say I skip our mints, I do the letting scene red. No. Do I survive a weekend? If I apply weekend, do I survive? Arm armaments is plus two energy. Plus two energy here. Okay, plus one energy. Okay, plus one energy. That's what you mean. Plus one energy. Okay, plus one energy. Simply good. And then. Okay, if I, if I kept the strike, though, I could strike and get impervious without frail. The void? I want to replay a week in here. I want to save second win for when I'm getting attacked next turn. I want to reapply a week in. I don't want to hold on to regret though. What if I laser tail now? Is the world for laser tail? Laser tail never lose, right? Laser tail now, no? Fight's over?
Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, the scariest part was Act 3 because of my own sloppiness. GG. Man, that was harder than it needs to be, huh? But I will say the Act 4 shot was very good. Very good Act 4 shot. Wow, wow, wow. I oh got Act 4 was incredible. Tail Pellets Tori.